This is the daily video update for Monday, May 3rd, 2021. For the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We usually set aside some time on Mondays for daily updates to be about the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. As we've talked about um, both in these updates and on Sunday morning, this Sunday, May 9th, will be our first uh, low capacity service back in the building. So I want to say a couple things about that. The first is if you are volunteering and and if you are, you have already been contacted by a staff member. If you are volunteer, volunteering on Sunday, um, we need you to register as a volunteer through Realm um, today, basically to make sure that, that we can track our capacity numbers. Again, you should already have heard about this through email, um, but if you have any questions, please email uh, myself or Jean uh, or Kelly and we can get you connected quickly. Um, more generally, registrations will open up tomorrow, Tuesday at 6 o'clock. We'll talk about that more in the daily update tomorrow and walk you through how to actually do that. One of the the fun parts about my job is is getting a chance to talk to lots and lots of people. Last week, I talked to um, David Pyle on Friday, and David is the regional lead for our region of Unitarian Universalism, the uh, Mid-America region that stretches roughly from Ohio to Nebraska. And we were talking about this question of, of reopening, and he used this metaphor that's been stuck in my head since. Um, he talked about questions of re-entry and reopening through the lens of um, Unitarian Universalist Sexuality Education, OWL, if you've, if you've been through that. OWL emphasizes things like consent, uh, balancing out public health and, and um, personal responsibility, as well as recognizing that, um, that we are human and, and humans have needs to be social and with each other. So I'm going to read um, what David posted on Facebook that, that reflected some of the conversations that we had. He writes, Our Unitarian Universalist churches are going to start reopening. It's going to happen. We can preach abstinence, as in refrain from any in-person church contact, all we want, and what will happen is that people will just stop listening and open back up based upon their desires and emotions rather than based upon a good understanding of safety, science, boundaries, and consent. Yes, it is true the only way to be perfectly safe is to abstain from all in-person church community, but really, how realistic is that? I mean, our congregations have been good so far, but to expect them to avoid such contact until the pandemic is fully over, if it ever is, is to really misunderstand humans and religious community. What we should be doing is giving our congregations good information, helping them realize the important questions they should be asking themselves and those they are in relationship with, and teaching them about prophylactic measures they can take when they do decide that the time is right for them to engage in in-person church community, while not pressuring those who are not yet ready and making it possible for those who are not yet ready to still be a part of religious community. One of the things we need to help them understand, to help churches understand, is that reopening once does not mean they cannot say no to in-person religious community if their feelings or the understanding of the circumstances change. It is okay to change your mind and to close back down again if the situation changes. And we need to trust churches to make the right decisions for themselves and their religious community partners. Because if OWL taught me anything, it is the limitations of the abstinence-only approach. This is brilliant because this puts words to a lot of the conversations that we've been having both uh, at our church in Lincoln but also around the UUA of saying it's, it's not simply enough to say that we will not have any contact. Too many of our folks are vaccinated. Too many of our folks want to get together in some way. So the question is not how to extend a closure of a building indefinitely. The question is how to find ways to be together in person while being safe doing so. 
when I was uh, in high school in a Unitarian Universalist church, I, I took our whole lives. I was age-wise, I was one of the first cohorts through that program, and and they took as an assumption that seventeen and eighteen year olds were fully formed human beings that that had an active life in all its components. And they took that seriously. We took that seriously as Unitarian Universalists. Not saying, just be abstinent until you are married, but saying, you're a human being. And so we're going to teach you how to talk about consent, how to talk about interpersonal relationships, how to talk about risk in ways that are healthy and direct. And the brilliance of, of this analogy is that those are exactly the skills that we need right now as we move out of the pandemic. So over the next weeks and months, you're going to hear this analogy fairly often from me because it is, it is the best one that I've heard yet to capture the needs of this moment. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow and, um, and we'll talk um, in that update about how to register for um, services on Sunday if you wish to. All right, see you then.